All right. So this is another video game related topic right here, man. You read that title. You already know what I'm about to talk about. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I'm seeing a bunch of grown men, children sitting here crying about a kid's game, right? People need to understand that the newer Pokemon games are basically catered and centered around the new generation that's coming up. Our generation of Pokemon were back in the early 2000s and late 90s, all right? People need to understand that this game is catered towards the new generation of people who watch the current Pokemon, you know? And if you're going to buy Pokemon Violet or you go buy Pokemon Scarlet, understand that it's catered towards the new generation of people watching Pokemon. You know, I understand that you people don't like the new Pokemon. You hate that Game Freak is going down the direction that they're going down. I understand that. Trust me, I understand. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it from the outside. This new generation love the new Pokemon series. They love them, okay? Just like how we was back in the day where we loved Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, you know, Bubbasaur, you know, those type of Pokemon, you know? That's how this new generation loves their new Pokemon, okay? So again, you people need to stop crying about a kid's game, bro, and understand that this is catered towards the people that watch the new Pokemon, okay? Now, if, well, we'll play uh, devil's advocate here. If Game Freak is trying to capture the old Pokemon fan base, then they're going down the wrong way of doing it because this ain't how you do it at all. So if that's what they're trying to do, then I can understand and it's justifiable in y'all rant videos of y'all talking shit about this game. I can understand. But if it's not the route they're going down and they're trying to cater and appeal to the, the younger generation that's watching the current day Pokemon, then there's no reason for anyone to be mad about what they're doing. Now, they had a good concept of having an open world Pokemon game. But here's the thing. And and I'm not going to excuse any of the glitches, the bugs, any of that in this game because it's already on the internet if you search for it. They should know that it was buggy, glitched, all types of issues with it in development. They already should have known like hey, we can't release this. It's still buggy, it's still glitchy. You know, people can still find the bugs and glitches in the game. And this is why I'm always against seasonal releases or yearly releases. You don't have to put out a Pokemon game every single year. You don't have to put out a Call of Duty game every single year. You don't have to put out um, Madden, 2K, Assassin's Creed, the Dude Bro games every single year. This is how y'all get burnt out. This is why your games are lackluster. This is why you having issues with your game. You don't have to do that. Look at the success of other games that come out every here and there. Look at Persona 5. They just keep pouring that game over and over and over. And they're not coming out with Persona 6 until 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 years later. Look at Grand Theft Auto 5. Everybody hates Grand Theft Auto 5, but look at the success. Every time it comes out, it don't even come out yearly. We haven't had a Grand Theft Auto game since 2013. That was the last Grand Theft Auto game we got. And I'm not counting the trilogy because the trilogy is a decade year old. That came out on the PS2 and original Xbox, and, and that was it. I'm talking about... Modern day GTA, you know, but like I said, man, Game Freak, I know y'all probably not passionate. Y'all probably uh, burnt out at the end of the day. You need to take a break. Y'all need to y'all need to really collect yourselves, man. And for the people making these Pokemon rants and shit like that, if Game Freak is not directing their game towards the older Pokemon fans, 
There's no reason to cry and whine about it. There's no reason, you know, if that's the case. But if that's not the case, then your rants, your complaining is justifiable. But the way I'm looking at it, they're trying to cater towards the, the new generation of kids watching the new the new day Pokemon. Our generation, we grew up, like I said, in, in the earlier stages of this video. Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander, Bubblesaur, you know what I'm saying? We came from the early 2000s and late 90s, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that's all I can say, man. If Game Freak is not trying to, to direct their stuff towards the, the older generation and they're trying to appeal to the younger generation, then these rants ain't even called for, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it is what it is, man. So, with that being said, SSG, man, the truth of YouTube, the last of a dying breed, the boat, the goat, the one with the most. I'm signing out, man.